Hi everybody, today we're going to be working on question seven of the winter 22 final. Okay, so this question is about um, virtual memory. And it asks us to simulate virtual to physical page table translation, calculate page table overheads. So when I approach this type of question, um, as I'm looking through just like these initial numbers, um, I just do all of the bit computations and you'll see what I mean by that. Um, so it says we have a 32-bit processor and we have a page size of 256, which this, what that means is if we have a 256 uh, page size, our page offset is equal to two, the log of 256, which is eight. And that means our page offset is eight bits. Um, it tells us our virtual memory size is um, 16 kilobytes. So that tells us um, that our uh, virtual address is um, 2 to the, I think it'll be 14, 2 to the 14, yeah, the 16 kilobytes, um, 2 to the 14 kilobytes, and the log of that. So we get 14 bits of virtual address. Um, well, if we have um, 16 kilobytes of virtual memory and our page size is 256. That means we have um, 16 KB divided by 256 is equal to 250 bytes. That's going to give us 2 to the 14th divided by 2 to the 6th. So, or not 2 to the 6th, 2 to the 8th. So that gives us 2 to the 6th. Yeah. Um, 2 to the 6th um, virtual pages, VP. Right. And if we have two to the six, the virtual pages, that means my VPN is equal to six bits. Um, so you can see I've already done like I've discovered a number of things just based off the first two bullet points here. So that's the way I like to approach them. Um, and then um, it makes the question a lot easier later. So then we have physical memory size, two kilobytes. Um, well, if we have two kilobytes, our physical, I just like doing PPN. So PPN, um, if we have eight pages, we need a page number for each of these. So um, our PPN is gonna be log of eight. So we have three bits of PPN. Um, oh wait, yeah, yeah. Um, Okay, so page replacement policy, LRU, um, page table layout, single page table size, 256. So that's one page. Uh, page table entry size is four bytes. Okay, so it gives us a um, physical page. Okay, so it's giving us the page table. No, it's giving us the mapping. Yeah, so it's giving us a mapping of PPN to um, to virtual pages and operating system mappings and page shapes. So this is just telling us what we're storing where in physical page, um, in physical memory, right? And it says um, it gives us a pattern going that way in time, um, and it says. Perform these accesses um, and uh, basically just determine behavior. So the first part of this is given the virtual addresses, we can we need to determine the VPN. So we don't actually need this for any of that. Um, so we can do that strictly off based off what we derived here earlier. So um, so our virtual address is 14 bits long. We can see that here. It's giving us a 12-bit representation, so we can assume the first two bits are zero. Um, our page offset is eight bits. So that means the last two digits here are always going to be our page offset. And everything before that is going to be our VPN, right? So that just tells us that that's our VPN, even though our VPN is technically six bits. Um, so that means our VPN is going to be three A, 3, F, 6. Um, so we've determined all the VPNs. 
And so now we want to um, consider um, what the PPNs are for each one of these as time goes, right? So um, uh, important to consider is that we have multiple processes running. Um, a virtual address, you know, we talked about the security considerations for um, the security considerations for a um, uh, for virtual memory. And one of the security considerations is that different processes have different mappings of virtual addresses to physical pages um, and or virtual addresses to physical addresses. And so we need to consider that as we as we move forward. So first off, we have process ID is 370 and we're looking at virtual page three. So we look at our table and we see if we can find that. Um, so it's not there, it's not there, it's not there. Oh, I got a hit, right? I found a, an entry where the the physical page is um, 370, or physical page has uh, an, a virtual page associated with um, uh, uh, PID 370, right? And so that's at physical page three, right? Um, is it a page fault? No, right? Because I found it in physical memory. And then the physical address, right? Basically, I'm just going to replace the VPN with the PPN. Well, in this case, they're the same. So we're just going to get 318. So then um, we look at VPN A process 370. So um, I'm only seeing 370 in two different places, and neither of those is A. That means we have a page fault, right? We did not find it. Uh, go away. No. Okay. Um, we did not find it in physical memory, right? And that means we need to go to the disk and go get it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use LRU. Right now we have empty spaces. So I can load the ID 370 VPN. Um, VPN is gonna be A, right? I can load that into my, um, uh, well, my page table, but this is just kind of a pseudo like representation of it. So um, then what it's going to belong to is it's going to belong to four. It's going to go in physical page four. And then we just basically turn the virtual page into a physical page with the same offset. And so we get four, zero, two. Okay. So then um, we PID 281 virtual page three. I look through my thing. Um, oh, I did I hit? No, that's a miss. So I page, oh wait, I messed up here. I, I said that we page faulted and then I wrote down that we didn't. Um, so here we also page fault. I don't have a um, scenario where, or I don't have an entry in my table where my PID is 281 and my VPN is three. I do have one for 370, but remember um, each process has its own mapping from VPNs to PPNs. So um, I'm going to need to do a page fault and go to um, disk and go get this. So um, I'm going to put it in the empty spot. And it's going to go in physical page six. And so then this turns into six one. So you can see here these two processes in process um, three seven in. Uh, 370, we access virtual address 31A. In 281, we access address 31A as well, but they have different physical addresses, right? Okay, um, so then uh, PID 370, um, we look at F. Uh, oh, looks like we have a hit at the bottom here. Um, so we just get seven. So you have no page fault. We get seven and it turns into seven zero zero. Um, and then we do 281.6. Oh, we are full. So what do we have evict? Um, well, I didn't actually read into that very carefully. Um, one and two are reserved for, so all of this stuff is reserved, so I can't evict that. And so I think the one that is not accessed, I don't think we accessed this throughout the entirety of our thing. So I think it's probably that. So what ends up happening is we have five, we have vict 
we evict this and we replace it with PID 281 uh, VPN 6. Um, so that's just me doing LRU. I was doing it quickly. I did it in my head. Um, but if you wanted to, you could walk through the whole LRU algorithm. Um, so we got five. It is a page fault. And we had to evict something. And then the physical address is just going to be 518. OK. Uh, moving on to part B, um, it says, suppose the page. I have a quick question. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Um, I, I was talking about in the chat a little bit, but I was a little confused. Like, uh, how did you find like the VPN? Because I, I, do, do you not have to convert to binary and then back to hex? Because it's well, six bits or? Um, so, so remember the, uh, if you look at the decomposition of an address, right? An address, um, a, vir a virtual address, right, is has a page offset and a VPN, right? Those are the two parts, right? So in our case, our virtual address is 14 bits long, right? Um, of that 14 bits, we determined that eight bits of that is page offset. We determined that eight bits are page offset, and then six bits are VPN. Well, um, in these addresses, right, it gives us hex, and it's only showing 12 bits, right? So you're like, wait a second. I determined that v virtual addresses are 14 bits. Why are they only showing me 12 bits? Well, that's just because. Um, you can assume everything before this, right? There's two the, zeros. There's just, there's just two bits of zeros, right? Um, and so the reason I am, so basically I'm starting from the end, right? And I'm determining that these last eight bits are the page offset, right? So I was moving the other direction. Oh, I see. So you did the rest of it, whatever's left. Exactly. Does that make okay. sense? Yeah, so I guess that's a good like kind of way to do it. Like, yeah, I would recommend from starting from the. I would recommend starting from the page offset. Yeah. I thank you. Wait, yeah. I had a, uh, I had a question just, just to clarify as well. Um, mm -hmm. So if you had like different processes, they would have like separate page tables, and like if you had like the same page number in two different processes, like they would look up in their own page tables, and like they won't find it if like one's not in there but the other is yes is that like yeah. is that why we have to like pull the the page uh, table yeah yes yeah. yeah. so is that like kind of why we have to like pull a different physical page for the three two eighty one uh three one mm -hmm. eight access exactly okay. exactly so so this what we're looking at here is actually is not a page table this is not a page table i want to i want to emphasize this a page table the index is a VPN and it translates it to a PPN. What this is, is just like a pseudo approximation, right? Of like what's actually going on. Cause we didn't want you to look through the whole page table every time, right? Um, uh, if you want to look at a, what a page table looks like, we just, you, I think we have diagrams of those in like classes in, in the lecture slides. This is not what that is. Um, what this is, is just like a pseudo representation of what this is. In reality, you have a PID, you have a 370 page table, and that page table um, is mapped somewhere in memory. And then from that memory mapping, you search up a VPN, and then the page table tells you whether three whether this is like three is in memory, is mapped to memory, or whether um, uh, F is mapped to memory, right? Um, or if any other addresses. So I want to emphasize that what we're looking at here is not a page table. I see. And I just wanted to make sure, like, in this class, because I know, like, uh, in lecture, they talked about a ton about, like, uh, how they have, like, access pay, uh, access bits or, like, bits to, like, approximate LRU in the, uh, in the page tables. Uh, yeah. In this class, are we just, are we just assuming, like, true LRU for, like, Yeah, we bit? assume, yeah. And um, in uh, 482, they talk about, like, approximations for LRU just a little bit. I think in 582, they actually discuss it, but, um, yeah. I see. Okay. Cool, thanks. Okay. Um, 
So then it says, um, suppose the page size is reduced to 16 bytes and the single level page table is replaced by a three level page table in which the size of each second level page table is two pages and the size of each third, um, third level page table is four pages. Um, and so the questions about this new configuration. So um, main idea um, of, of this question here. So we're taking, we took our single level representation here and we're splitting it into multiple page tables. Um, uh, it tells us that the second level page table is two pages. Um, third level page table is four pages, right? Um, and now it's asking us how many index bits are required for the second and third level. So the whole idea of multi, uh, multi-level page tables is instead of having, right, um, like our VPN is maybe like 20 bits or it's, it's an N number of bits, right? And then we have um, an M number of page offset bit. The idea is, Right, so the, the page offset translates, but how do I go from a PPN, right, to an and uh, to a PPN? And our PPN is going to have um, let's call it uh, L M N O O O bits, right, where O is generally less than or equal to N, right. Um, well, a single level page table has for each of these N bits, right. So if we have n bits, then we have two to the n representations, right? Um, for each of these two to the n representations, it has a singular entry. It has one entry that tells it either that tells us either whether it's in memory or it's not in memory, right? And if it's in memory, it tells us where it's in memory, right? Um, and so we have two to the n entries in a single level page table. In a multi-level page table, what we do is we break up our VPN into a bunch of pieces, right? Um, the, however many levels there are in the page table. And we say, right, so that, let's say we broke up our VPN into A, B, and C number of bits, right? What we say is page table A, right, um, or the first level page table is gonna have two to the A entries and um, each one of these entries is going to point to a second level page table, right? Um, so it's going to basically have like a tree structure, right? Um, then our second level at each second level page table is going to have two to the B entries. Um, each one of these entries points to a third level page table, right? And each of these third level page tables is going to have two to the C entries, and each of these third level page tables are going to point to are going to give us, you know, the same thing, which is a either um, it's not in memory or it's a um, or it is in memory, and here's the physical address, right? So that's the idea behind this, um, behind splitting it up. Well, the splits that I talked about, A, B, and C, don't have to be equal. In fact, they're often not equal. Um, and so you can see that because the second level page table right here is not the same size as the third level page table. So the question is, it tells us, right? It tells us how, many, um, how big each page table is, right? At each level. And it's asking us to determine what A, B, and C are, right? So, um, well, it gives us how big each third level each page table is, what we can use that to, to determine is how many entries there are per page table, right? So the second level page table, let's consider that first, is two pages large, right? Um, two pages, meaning that it has 32 bytes. Each second level page table has 32 bytes. Um, we know that the page table entry size is four bytes, which means that each second level page table has eight entries. Or, um, and because it has eight entries, right? Um, if we take the log of that, that means we have to have three bits to represent each of those entries, right? In other words, B, right? In that diagram that I was showing you is equal to three. Now, 
The third level page table is double the size, right? Which means it has double the entries. It has double the entries, it has an additional bit. Four bits, right? So you get three bits and four bits. So we haven't talked to, we haven't discovered what A is. Well, how do I know how big A is? Well, um, second. Bar crawl. Okay. Um, so um, basically, well, what we were looking at is we were splitting up a VPN into, um, we were splitting up a VPN into A, B, and C. So if I can determine what the size of the VPN is, um, then I can determine how big my uh, um, uh, A is, right? I, I can determine how big that, how many bit index bits that first level page table takes. Well, um, we can't use what we calculated earlier. We can't use six, right? Because our page size changed. But what we can use is 16 kilobytes, right? We still know that virtual, virtual memory hasn't changed, right? The size. So we still have two to the 14th. That is, uh, by the way, um, 16 kilobytes. Um, we still have two to the 14 bytes mapped among, so each page is 16 bytes, which is two to the four. So that tells us that there are two to the 10 page tables, uh, two to the 10, sorry, two to the 10 virtual pages, right? Two to the 10 virtual pages. And um, to represent that, we're gonna take the log. So we have 10 bits of VPN. So we have 10 bits of VPN, the second level is eating three, the third level is eating four. So the first level must be 10 minus three minus four is equal to three. And just to visualize that a little bit, our VPN, right? We have our page offset, page offset here, right? And that was um, 16 bytes or four bits. Um, and then we're breaking it up um, into first level, second level, third level. Our third level was four, second level was three. So what's the left? Uh, that's how we got three. So, um, so we have determined that the first level page table has three bits, right? So now let's start to tackle part two, right? We know the decomposition of, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and erase this, but we're gonna leave a little note over here that says uh, first level three bits. So the question here is asking, um, what is the minimum storage space for the three level page table? Well, when does that occur? So the one constraint that I have with this multi-level page table is that the single, the first level is always in memory. I only have one of them and it's always in memory, right? Because if a process goes and asks, you know, hey, where's this address? I need to be able to tell it something, right? I need some page table. And so um, the first level page table um, must exist. However, the second and third level page tables don't need to exist, right? Because consider the situation where I've never performed a memory access before, or I've never written anything, or this process has no memory, is using no memory. Well, I don't need a second level page table. I can kind of defer creating it until I need it. And so the minimum storage space um, is just going to be the size of the first level page table, right? Well, we can determine the size of the first level page table based off the number of bits, right, the, that it index. So if there's three bits, that must mean there's two to the three or eight entries, right? Um, eight entries in this uh, page table, which by the way, is the same number as uh, the second level page table. So I could tell you right now, the answer is just gonna be 32 bytes. But um, if we have eight entries um, and each entry is four bytes large, then our answer is 32 bytes. And so that's gonna be our answer there. Now it's asking us to consider what's the worst case. The worst case, is I am addressing, I my process uses every virtual page, right? Which is very rare, but we have a process that uses every virtual page. If I have a process that uses every virtual page, 
then I'm going to have one first level page table, right? I'm going to have, um, so our first level page table, let's say as A bits, right? Um, then I'm going to have two to the A second level page tables. So I have one first level, two to the A um, second level page tables. And then um, let's say I have B um, second level, uh, B bits in my second level representation. Um, then I'm going to have two to the A times B or two, I guess uh, if you don't want to do the reduction, two to the A times two to the B um, third level page tables, right? So that's how many page tables I'm going to end up having. And then I need to consider the size for each. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, all right. So um, how many? So basically, the res what we want is the number of tables times the, num the size per table, right? So for the first level page table, we only have one of them. And the size of it is we determined in just part in part uh, part two that it was 32 bytes. So it's one times 32. So that's the size associated with the first level page tables. Now we need to determine the size, uh, the amount of data associated with second level page tables. Well, first off, how many second level page tables do we have? Well, we have two to the three or eight, right? We determined that here. That's the three bits, right? We have um, three bits of representation. So we have two to the three second level page tables. That's how many we have. Um, now, now, how big is each one, right? Well, each one, it says up here, it says it was, each one is two pages. And then we determined that two pages is equal to 32 bytes. So two to the three times 32, right? So that's the size associated with second level page tables. Now we need to consider the size associated with third. So, well, how many third levels do we have? Well, um, for each second level page table, we have eight, right? For each second level page table, we have three bits or two to the three, right? Well, how many second level page tables do we have? We have two to the three. So there's two to the three times two to the three number of page table, of third level page tables. And then how big is each third level page table? Well, each third level page table, it's set up here with four pages. We determine, um, well, that's a page is 16 bytes. So it's four times 16, right? And that's uh, 64, right? And so that's the total size that we need. So if we add this up, we get um, two to the fifth plus um, two to the eighth plus um, two to the six, two to the 12th. Um, and so that'll give you, let's see if I can do some mental math. Um, 4,000, so 4,096 plus 256, 4,300. Um, numbers are hard. Somebody wanna do that for me? 4,300 something. 4,096, 64, 360. It's like 92. It's 80, 84. Never mind. 84. Great. Okay. Um, sure. Uh, I'll try, I'll take your word for it. But um, that's the number of bytes. So are there any questions on this this? Yeah. Yeah, I have a quick question on pay, on number on BI. Uh, when you were initially doing that like second level, so where do you get eight entries from? Eight entries, 32 from bytes. The initial information or 32 bytes. So I determined that a second level page table is 32 bytes large. Each entry is four bytes. So I did 32 divided by four. Wait, so each entry. Oh, I see. And the, and the 32 bytes you got from the fact that it's two pages and it's 16 yes. times two. Oh, okay, thank you. Sorry, I don't show all my work. <laughs> don't take after me. All right, seeing no questions. Um, mouse, please work. Meeting.